Hey everybody, how's it going? It's your boy Tony Powell, aka Doc Holiday, and I'm going to show you guys how I make my soon to be famous banana mixed chocolate chip cookies. So let's check it out. Alright, so if you ever made regular chocolate chip cookies, there's not much of a deviation from the traditional uh, recipe. There's just a few things I like to do to change things up just a little bit and make them the way I like them. So what we have is we have our butter, we have an egg, uh, we also have vanilla extract, baking powder, we have our banana of course, white chocolate and milk chocolate cookie, uh, ch chip cookies, I mean chocolate chips, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, we have our flour, we have our white sugar, we have our brown sugar, and we're going to be making it in this bad boy right here. So, da -da -da -da. so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the measurements started and show you how, how I go about it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make the butter. Now, what I like to do is I like to take just a stick of butter, and I like to throw that thing in here. Now, we want to melt this, but we don't want to just melt the butter. Nobody does anything regular on the Tony channel. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to put some white chocolate chips and melt that with the butter. Not too much. And I'll go into why I like to add the white chocolate chips to the batter and not add so much uh, white and brown sugar to the batter, to, the, uh, to my cookies. Because these are actually going to make up a lot of the sugar that's going to be in the cookies. You don't want to add too much sugar. I find that when I add too much sugar to my cookies they come out harder they they're sweeter but they come out harder and not as fluffy i don't know if i'm doing something wrong there but that's what happens to me so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna put this in the microwave for about a minute ish maybe two minutes i don't know we'll, we'll figure it out now while those uh while that butter is melting in the microwave we're gonna take our egg and toss that sucker in here <laughs> this is gonna be interesting let me see if i can do this with my non-dominant hand Oh, work with me baby don't fight it yeah oh man i got shells in there damn it all right well we'll get that out in a second hang on a second just gotta this better edit this part out of the video make sure nobody sees this to make it oh, all right the next thing you want to do is add one teaspoon i think this is a teaspoon it's the little one stuff right of vanilla extract to the eggs and just toss that in there just like that and we're done we can uh now eat our cookies no i'm joking Okay, so now we have our white chocolate chips mixed into the melted butter. I'm just gonna give it a good swirl like that. And then we're gonna pour that into our eggs. And which we're gonna, oh, no, come on, work with me here. You gotta get that white chocolate out. My bad. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and scoop this and put this all in there. I'll be right back. All right, now that we got that stuff sorted out, we're gonna put our white sugar in to the wet mix stuff. And again, I don't like to use too much uh, white sugar or brown sugar because I like my cookies to really come out fluffy, like as fluffy as they possibly can be and as soft. So we're gonna go ahead and use this measuring cup to put the right amount, the amount that I like. But you can put as much as you like in there though. That's, that's all up to you. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. There we go. I got a, just a little bit under a half a cup of white sugar. And that's why I like to add um, more white sugar to my cookies. My bad, I forgot to show that I poured that in there, but I just poured that in, the white sugar in there. Yeah, you can see. All right, and we also, like I said, have about just about under a half a cup of um, brown sugar. And we're going to go ahead and add that to the mix as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and get our um, batter made. So let's go ahead and start spinning. Uh, uh, mix it all up. Now while that's mixing, I'm gonna go ahead and move on over to making my dry batter. So stay tuned. Now, I typically like to use a little bit more flour than what's recommended, to be honest with you, because again, I like them to be fluffier, so I add more flour to make that happen. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that flour in here and, and show you. And about just under uh, two cups of flour is what I typically like to add into my cookies. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that into this bowl. There we go. 
Now I need my, I need to add my salt and my baking soda. And I only have one hand to do it. One moment. All right, I don't like to add too much baking soda, but as you can see, this is about as much as I would probably use. So I'm gonna throw that in there. Hold it like that. Mix around this a little bit. Like that right there. All right, now let's add the salt. Now I typically like to use pink Himalayan salt. Uh, but you can use, I guess, whatever kind of sauce you like. And this is about as much as I like to add. And this is a, uh, a teaspoon. Okay, so we got our, our salt, our uh, baking soda, and our flour all mixed together. And we're getting ready to throw it in our batter. But before we do, we forgot one secret ingredient to throw into our batter. The banana. The star of the show. Oh no! It's the banana! He fell into the mixer. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna let that sucker get chewed up. Look at that. Just look at that goodness. Oh yeah. That looks delicious. Alright. Let's go ahead and turn it up to get rid of the chunks. Full oh, power! <laughs> All right, so uh, we're ready to go ahead and throw our flour in there. Our banana is all mixed up. Let's go ahead and throw flour in there. All righty, all the flour's in there. We're gonna turn up just a little bit. So mix it all together. Oh man, that's too much. Put flour all over my shirt. All right, we're just gonna let it do its thing. Uh, as a matter of fact, at this time, it would be a good time to go ahead and throw our chocolate chips in there. Grab that out of here. Listen, uh, so all you ladies that would be my wife in the future, uh, when we making chocolate chip cookies for the kids, it's a good note to keep these away from me because I will eat these before the cookies are even done. But I'm gonna contain myself this time. We're gonna throw these in here. Oh, can't see. There we go, nice. Good amount of chocolate chips in there and let that mix, it's starting to look good. You wanna get like a nice creamy white-ish or like a um, yeah, whitish yellowish like look to it and stuff, you know? And make sure it's nice and nice and creamy. Turn that up a little bit more, just to beat it up. All right, and we are done. So now, we are gonna go ahead and uh, make our cookies and put them in the oven. So the, I have the oven preheated to 375, so we're going to go ahead and make some magic happen. Now before I forget, there is one key ingredient that I forgot to mention, but it's not too late. We're going to go ahead and add it now, and it makes everything come together. And that magic ingredient is bacon, baby. Yeah, you ain't about that life. Yeah, you thought I was gonna make these chocolate chip cookies without no bacon? You crazy, you know how I do. I'm all about that bacon, baby. Heck yeah, you don't even know. Told you wasn't ready for this. Yeah, we just, we're just gonna throw it in just like this. All right, so basically we have them all laid out here. They're gonna like grow and be really fluffy. So let's go ahead and toss these in the oven and see how they turn out. Yeah, get on in that oven there. Oh, on that now, right on to the back. Yeah, it's almost done, almost about that time. About to get these cookies going. Look how juicy these things are. Look at those, they're delicious. Yeah, and there we go. My famous banana mixed chocolate chip cookies with that nice golden finish. That's what I'm talking about, right there. That's the good stuff. All right, everybody, um, we're gonna let this cool and then we're gonna taste test it. All right, the moment has come me to actually taste it again because I messed up on the last video. No, not gonna happen. But yes, let's go ahead and uh, taste this.
thank you everybody for watching my video. This is how I make my soon to be famous banana mixed chocolate chip cookies. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you learned something. See you next time. Bye.